Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Now I know I do a lot of SSRTs and SSTOs a lot in these uh, videos, and that's basically because it's a very hot topic right now for Kerbal Space Program. It's been that way for since I can remember. Anybody who's anybody in the space program genre loves a craft that can basically have no stages whatsoever. Deliver cargo or personnel to orbit or to another planet or moon, and then come back, refuel, and go all over again. Go all over again? What, what the? the go all over again is basically the dream of every space engineer or you know wannabe engineer like me to be able to build in real life something that'll go up there and come back and the only thing you got to worry about is quickly looking over everything maintenance wise fueling the damn thing up loading it up and sending it back tis the dream now i don't know if we're ever going to see that dream happen in our lifetime but it's getting pretty close starship is for spacex the first step to something very similar as a matter of fact i would even say that spacex will be the first company unless something drastic happens that finds and perfects an engine that allows for an SSTO, or in this case an SSRT, to make the first single staged trip into orbit and then land safely, usefully, usefully, okay? Meaning it brings either people or cargo up there. It's useful. It's not just a rocket that goes up there, does nothing, and comes back down. There is no market for that. Anyway, where the fuck was I going with this? Oh yeah, so here on this channel we do a lot of SSTOs. This video being no different. It's been a long week, but in this time I had to think of something to make. Granted, sometimes I'll have a creator's block, but in this instance I was watching a video about satellites and garbage in space and all that good stuff. But I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if you could build a satellite and then just have it go into space with no rocket, no transportation vehicle? That the satellite itself wasn't a payload, it was just a ship, or it was just the thing, the mechanism, and you built it and just the whole thing went up into the orbit and did what it needed to do. A self-launching satellite, SLS for short. I thought that was pretty cool. On a military level, it would be extremely useful in some situations. You could have this SLS in the back of a truck and then in a pinch you could open it up and launch it for like spying or communication or something. I don't know. It seemed pretty cool. But how to build one in Kerbal Space Program? Now I went through many different methods. The first method, which you saw it was just pretty much a rocket going into space it was the smallest ssrt ever that i could possibly think of about making four oscar meyer b fuel tanks and that's it i could probably squeeze more out delta v wise but what i really wanted was something that looked like a satellite when it got into orbit we're talking solar panels we're talking relay dishes maybe even some lights something that when it got into orbit would open up and it would look like a satellite not just a rocket amazingly enough once you start adding just a little bit of weight and in this case a little bit of drag your fuel propellant and engine requirements almost double if not triple in some cases i tried to keep it as small as possible using srbs as a type of booster in the lower thicker atmosphere didn't quite work out having the relay antenna on one side or the relay dish on one side folded up created immense uh well not immense but enough drag on one side of the rocket to where i wanted to pull it in that direction i I tried evening it out, evening it out, no joy. And then I found out that I could get more from those tiny little engines, well, the, the side variant, I can't remember what the, what the fuck are those engines called? You know what I'm talking about. That I actually could get more out of them in the thicker atmosphere than I could with the other variant that attaches directly to a node. It seems like one was meant for thicker atmosphere and the other one was meant for vacuum mostly. So instead of using the vacuum oriented rockets, I just went ahead and, and went for the more atmospheric oriented rockets obviously right that's what you want to do right but now with all of this equipment we are going to need more fuel and i really didn't want the rocket looking like a giant stick or some other implied piece of equipment anyway so i went for a more wide body look some clipping was involved but in this case i really didn't give a flying foot as long as it wasn't completely smushed together that you could tell that there was other fuel tanks involved but it made a more slender looking shape i was fine with that cool thing was that it worked i was able to get it up 
there and it would open up the solar panels and the relay dish and it looked like a satellite. But I didn't want just, just that. Maybe put some science stuff up there too. You know, have it do a little bit more. Interestingly enough, just that little bit would end up screwing up the whole thing. It would create enough drag to where the delta V involved in getting to orbit would be lowered to a point where it wouldn't be able to get into orbit anymore. Let's not forget as well that putting this thing on the back of a truck for launch ended up hurting it even more. See, there was no really real place I could attach any decoupling device to. I thought about using a claw, but you have to kind of have both craft pop into the world at the same time. And unfortunately in this game, you can't really attach a claw to a craft in the hangar. You know, on the other end, the claw part doesn't work that way, which would be the most ideal. So putting this thing inside of a truck that unfolds and allows it to launch from the actual truck is going to be a... Wait. Wait. A challenge to say the least, you'd have to completely redesign the self-launching satellite in order to accommodate a launching from a truck feature. So for right now, if you wanted to wanted it to launch from a truck, you'd have to design the truck to be able to, it'd be two different crafts, and you would take some sort of loader, or maybe the truck would be able to do it, I don't know. But like you'd back up to the satellite, load it up onto the truck, and then go over, go wherever you needed to go to launch the satellite. But they would have to start off as two separate crafts. That's the only way I see this thing getting loaded up on a truck right now. No loading it into the world all in one shot. If you're wondering if the flags were creating drag, they they do, but it's so insignificant it really didn't do anything. But for some reason, you put on those damn science bits and suddenly it's a no-go for orbit. <laughs> I don't know. However, I really love the design of this cute little thing. It almost looks like like a full-size spaceship. I wonder if I can make it into a full-sized spacecraft with the big giant dish on the bottom, some giant solar panels, use the robotics and stuff to make it work. That'd be pretty cool because I can almost see windows on this thing, right? Like a little freighter or something of that nature. I might try to do something like that. But anyway, here it is, the SLS, the self-launching satellite, SSTO or SSRT. If you're wondering what SSRT stands stands for just read the description below but anyway this has been a Kerbal Space Program video if you liked what you saw please leave a like you know how YouTube is it won't it won't it, blah, 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 blah. it won't spread the video around if the likes are like itty bitty so just leaving a like really helps out the channel a lot and if you really 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 liked what you saw consider subscribing so, 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 oh my gosh consider streaking no <clears throat> consider subscribing I upload often mostly Kerbal Space Program mostly SSTO stuff. I am looking at doing a different games here soon. Space related, of course, because I like space. And everybody who's on this channel, I would think, likes space. Space. I mean, that's one of the reasons why a lot of you have subscribed for the space stuff. Already at 20k.2. 20,200? Thank you so much. I'm very humbled about that. That is, that is amazing. And it's only happened within a year. So I'm going to try to keep it up for everybody. Wish me luck. Here's for 30k. We also have a membership, if you're interested if you if you become a member it's a bunch of little emojis and stuff nice little nice little knife little what <laughs> Sure. Nice little badges and stuff and emojis and whatnot you can get by your name. But anyway, thank you again. This has been a Kerbal Space Program video. Love you all. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.